right guys here goes uh, one of those blast from the past type deals uh, this is uh, old school Icarus Piccolo Pro um, you know I guess some of you guys might not think it's very special but for me you know it's one of the first helicopters I ever played with and um, I actually used it to relate a lot of the stuff that I was learning in school to to help me you know understand some of these engineering concepts and it was you know it was a heck of a lot more fun than always staring at those books but let's take a good close look at it let me change my camera mode real quick all right i'm gonna pull the canopy off it's a nice looking a helicopter i mean it's one of the nicer looking um micro helicopters that they've come out with uh let's point some stuff out here we've got the Upgraded Icarus motor. I believe it's a laner motor. I don't know who the speed control comes from. The Lexer servos. Uh, yeah, they, it's got them all the way around. That's a PicoBoard Pro, and I took that horrible receiver that they had on it off and uh, replaced it with an AR6100, and that's probably the best thing that ever happened for this helicopter because it doesn't kill itself now. There's flip it around real quick so you guys can take a look see good old Pico board pro with the heading hold module this this setup actually works better than most of the multi function boards that I've seen made today I guess those people over in China still haven't learned from stuff made in the past and well I don't know this is probably why this helicopter flies better than most of them do now Anyways, uh, this is a rotor head from Precision Model Products. Uh, it's no longer made. Um, same deal with the swash and the slider. Um, I'm probably going to take that off. I hate horizontal fins. They're worthless for this stuff. And uh, It had the original big fan for the tail, but I think we've learned a little bit you know as the years progress that these direct drive tails are a lot more responsive and seem to um, catch themselves like uh, if you will a lot quicker so that you could stop at any point that you put it uh, much more precisely this is a stock motor with a heat sink and it's a GWS 3030 fan um, there's nothing much to it I just slid it on I, I didn't really change anything it's, just, it's the original motor mount just with a fan on it. Um, oh, and here's another cool feature. Old school uh, Thunder Power 1320 battery pack. Uh, I don't even know. It might be like 13C or, or there it is right there, 10C. So it's really old school. There's no balancing taps. This is from the very beginning. And if you look at the bottom, it's just a little plug-in module. So here, I'm going to turn on my transmitter so this thing doesn't kill me. I'll show you how this thing works. All you do is you slot, you, you see the tongue of the helicopter, you kind of line it up and you slide it on and it locks into place and here let me zoom out a little bit and then as you can see the Pico board that red light means it's ready to go and you know that's just a spectrum light back there but they didn't know anything about that back in the day and then here, let's take a look at some of the mechanics, how this thing works. It's a, it's a one servo on each axis for uh, this micro helicopter. I mean, there's a the collective pitch. You see the swash plate isn't moving. It's a flapping head. It gives it some interesting flight characteristics. It's one of the best flying rotor heads for a micro CP I've ever tried. And then, you know, again, one servo on the elevator, one servo on the aileron. It's uh, fully 3D capable. I've already had this thing upside down quite a few times. And, and then you can see right there the good old fan. So this is my Piccolo Pro and uh, very happy to have one again. I got a really good deal on it and now I'm enjoying it. I fly it every night. It gets about six, seven minutes flight time per session and it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed this.